Hey everyone, welcome back to the Mamma Mia Dev channel. It's been a while since my last video, but I finally managed to find the time to finish this episode and I'm really excited to share what I've been working on. If you're new here, I'm Antonio and on this channel we dive deep into technology, programming and creating awesome tools with modern frameworks like Avalonia UI. In my last video, we explored how to use Reddit API. We covered the authentication flow tested the endpoints with Postman, and even created a tiny c -shop client. If you missed it, no worries, you can find it linked in the description. But today, we are taking things to the next level. I've built an application using Avalonia UI that serves as a functional UI wrapper around the improved version of the c -shop Reddit client we built earlier. Let's dive in. Before jumping into the app, Let's do a quick recap. Last time we built a basic C-Sharp client to interact with Reddit's API. We implemented the authentication flow and tested some endpoints, like retrieving subreddit information or fetching posts. Since then, I've made several improvements to the client. It now has better response handling, a more modular structure, support for additional API endpoints. This improved client is at the core of the Avalonia UI app we'll explore today. So why Avalonia UI? As some of you know, I'm a big fan of cross-platform development. Avalonia UI allows us to create beautiful, responsive applications that run on Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and mobile platforms with a single code base. It's also fully open source, has a clean XAML-based layout system, and integrates well with .NET projects which makes it perfect for building this application. All right, let's check out the application. Here is what it does. There is a login flow. At startup, the app asks you to authenticate on the Reddit website. Then using OAuth, we can exchange a token and start using Reddit API. Once on the front page, you can navigate among the best posts from your subreddits by clicking on the button at the top. You can browse posts from your favorite subreddits. You can then click on a post to view its details, including comments. Then a tiny progress bar at the top will tell you how many requests are left if you're on a free plan. Now that you've seen the app in action, let's take a quick look at how it's built. The app is split into two main components. The UI layer, built with XAML for layouts and MVVM for binding data to the UI. It consists of a shared library, a desktop and an Android specific project. The client library, our improved c -sharp Reddit client that handles all the API calls. The solution skeleton of this application was generated using the Avalonia templates, the cross-platform one in this case. Now let's have a quick tour of the views the app is using. The main window is used only for desktop apps and it's a container for the main view. The main view is the core of the whole application and it's used to hold different other views as the authentication or the feeds one. The central component is the transitioning content control, which can transition from a view to another by simply binding a view model to its content. At the moment, you can see a preview of the control showing the feeds view, which is the user front page. The feeds view is powered by the underneath split view control. It has a button at the top to display a side panel with all the user subreddits and the content area used to display the front page posts or the one from your favorite subreddit. The out navigation view is a wrapper around the web view, allowing the user to authenticate and browse Reddit using their own tokens. The subreddit view is made by a header with some of the subreddit info and a list of posts. The post view, which displays the post body, the author and the comments. And last but not least, the post list view, which is a control template used anytime we need to display a list of posts, like in the feeds view or the subreddit view. 
In this video, we'll just go through the main features of the app and how I developed them. If you want to dive into the details, you can always find the code on GitHub, or you can let me know in the comments if you want to see a dedicated video on a specific argument. The main features are inject configuration at startup. Loading configuration from a JSON file, for instance, is pretty easy to do on a desktop app. You just have to tell the DI to load the JSON from the runtime folder and make sure the file is there. Things get a bit more complex when you deploy to mobile, and it's there where I had to use some from specific code. To load a specific file on Android, I have to declare the JSON as an embedded resource and load it from the manifest resource stream. To execute code on specific platforms, I made the general Avalonia app class abstract, declared two abstract methods, one for DI configuration and one for DI services, and implemented both methods inside concrete classes used in all the different platform projects. Page navigation. Given the need to navigate from a view to another, I use the messenger system provided by the MVVM community toolkit to signal whenever I wanted to change view without having strong references between view models. In this case, for instance, the main view model registers for or listens to different type of messages while other entities like the post view model can send a close post message, for instance, whenever you want to go back to the subreddit view. Storage. To make sure the user doesn't have to go through the outflow every time they open the app, I had to find a way to store the tokens somewhere to be reused. That somewhere depends on the device the app is running on. Now, in my application, I just used a dirty workaround where I asked the environment to give me their personal folder and I store the tokens there. It's not secure at all and I'm gonna change it in the future. Every platform has specific guidelines on how to store data, especially when dealing with sensible information. The outflow. To put in place the authentication flow, we use two main components, a web view and an HTTP listener. The flow starts by sending the user to the authorization URL, and we do it by using the WebView package provided by MicroSugar Developer Org on GitHub. A small note, while I'm recording this, the MicroSugar repo is not available anymore due to violation of GitHub's trademark policy. I'm still not sure of what happens. Once the user has authorized the application, it will be redirected to a callback URL, in this case, localhost, 8080 slash callback, which was defined inside the developer app configs on Reddit. And at that point, our Avalonia app will be listening for incoming requests to that URL, thanks to an HTTP listener configured in the code. With a callback, the app receives an authorization code that will exchange for a proper access token. So, that's more or less what I have to say about this Avalonia UI application, a simple tool to interact with the Reddit API. There are many more features to be added and a lot of bugs to be solved, but I hope this will inspire you to explore Avalonia UI or even build your own API powered applications. Let me know in the comments if there is anything specific you'd like to see. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more technical content. Thanks for watching. 